All right, let's get started. So we've been working all with expressions lately. Now we're going to move into our equations, which is similar to expressions, but just a little bit different. So let's get the basic understanding of equations. Okay, so you have your packet out in 1a, and let's get going. So what is an equation? Well, really simple. An equation is a mathematical statement that two expressions are equal. So you're setting up two expressions, and you're saying they're equal, and so you're using that equal sign um, to show that, whereas expressions did not have that equal sign. Um, so that's a little bit of a difference, which we'll talk more about here in a second. So just to show you, um, we've got 15 plus 8, that would be one expression, and then on the other side, 23 would be the other expression, and we're saying those are equal to each other using the equal sign. So two expressions using an equal sign or, or some kind of sign, um, that's an equation. And so, obviously, an equation contains an equal sign. Make sure you're getting your blanks filled in. Rewind if you need to. Um, so I know that sounds really simple, but really, truly, that's what an equation is. It has an equal sign. It's saying that both sides of this um, equation are equal to each other. So it's representing two different expressions and saying that they are equal to each other. Let's get a little more specific. Let's look at some similarities and differences between equations and expressions. So what we have been talking about is an expression. And it's the, an expression represents a single value. So what that means is, while there may be more than one thing happening in the expression, when you simplify it, it ends up representing just one value. Whereas an equation represents a relationship between two values. That's why it has the equal sign. It's showing they're equal to each other. Or sometimes, you'll see here in a bit, sometimes the sides are not equal to each other. And so we show that with a slash with the um, equal sign and there's, they're not equal. But it's a relationship when you're talking about an equation versus an expression is representative of one single value. Um, so in words, you could say a number plus 4 versus a number plus 4 is 9. So that is is representing that equal sign. Um, you can do it with algebra too. So um, n plus 4, that is an expression. But saying n plus 4 equals 9, that is an equation. Um, and again, relates to expressions using that is um, or equals. And this is what helps us find that missing piece. With an expression, you would not be able to find what n is unless they told you, whereas now that it's an equation, you would be able to find it, which we'll talk about later. Okay. So again, an equation may or may not contain variables, just depends. Um, there's numerical equations, just like we had with numerical expressions, but then there's also algebraic equations, uh, just like how we had algebraic expressions, very similar. And um, what we know now, instead of the variable being told to us, we actually can solve for it, and that's called a solution. A solution of the equation is a value of the variable that makes the equation true. So like, let me give you an example. If we have n minus 8 equals 6, now if we had n minus 8, just that expression, you wouldn't know what to do with it. There's nothing you could do with that. But now that you know it equals 6, you can think, well, what? So what number minus 8 would equal 6? And it's going to be 14. So that means 14 is the solution to the equation. So there's only going to be one solution when you're talking about an equation like this. Um, when we were dealing with expressions, we could change up what the value of n was. Um, but this time, when you have that equation, you're saying it equals something. That means there's only going to be one possible solution. So 14 is called the solution, which is the number that's going to go in for the variable. Okay. So let's try this. It says use substitution to determine whether the given value is a solution of the equation or not. So we're trying to decide if the value they're giving us for x is a solution or not. So instead of solving, which we'll do very soon in 1b, um, we're going to take our skills that we already know t how to do and substitute and then just decide is it a solution or is it not. So let's go ahead and do this together. So we've got 6 is being substituted for x, so here's my first step, 6 plus 9 equals 15. And yes, I know you could probably do this in your head, but I still, excuse me, want you to um, do the steps out because first off, that's what it's asking you to do. Secondly, when they get more complicated, you may not be able to do it in your head, and so I want to make sure you're doing the steps when we have the basic information, okay? So then if we keep solving, notice how I keep bringing that equals 15 with me too, and we get 6 plus 9 is 15, so we're just going to mark that with a check mark because, yep, it worked. It's all good, okay? If you need to go back and rewind, feel free, but moving on to the next one. 
we've got y, and remember it's y over 4, but really we could say y divided by 4. That fraction bar means division. So we got y divided by 4 equals 32, and we're trying to decide if y um, equals 8 would be a solution to the problem. And I'm sorry, let me back up for just a sec. So us putting this check mark means that 6 is the solution for um, x, by the way. Like, it is the solution for our equation. So we're not just saying, like, yeah, we, we did the problem correctly. We're saying that 6 did make them the, both sides equal, and so that's why it's a solution. So let's see if this will work for this one. So we substitute 8 in first. So we have 8 divided by 4 equals 32. And if I do 8 divided by 4, I get 2. So that means these are not a uh, or sorry, that, that means 8 is not a solution for the equation because we did not get the same number on both sides. So we can just put an x, or you can put no, or you can put a slash through the um, equal sign, whatever you want. Okay, let's try one more. We've got 8x equals 72, and we want to know if x equals 9 will be a solution. So we substitute first, 8 times 9 equals 72, and 72 does equal 72, and so yep, it was a solution, so we can put our check mark. Okay. Let's try just one more here, and then it'll be all you for the practice. So we're going to, again, use substitution. This is a little more complicated this time. And instead of just having one, we want to try and figure out from the set which one is going to be the solution. Because if it's an equation, it is going to only have one solution. There's only one thing that's going to make it exactly equal. Later on, when we talk about in inequalities, there may be more than one solution. But with equations, there's always only one solution. So we have three different numbers that here. We've got 10.5, 15, 23. You really can start with whichever number you want, but for our purposes for the notes, I want you to start with the first number, and we're going to substitute it in, solve to see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll move on to the next number until we find that solution that works. So let's try this first one. Go ahead and do it with me. We substitute 10.5 in, and don't forget, follow order of operations or it will absolutely change your answer, okay? And again, I'm rewriting the whole problem. So I'm going to do the division before addition. So we do 10 divided by 2 first to get 5. So I've got 10.5 plus 5 equals 20. And when I add that up, I get 15.5, and that does not equal 20. So if you want to put a slash um, through your equal sign, you can, or you can put no or an x or something, but this did not work. So 10.5 is not the solution for this equation. So let's move on to the 15. So let's try it again with the 15. Oops. Did I do... Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. I had to, to make a little correction because I uh, forgot to substitute with 15 this time instead of 10.5. I messed up on that first step. So your first step should be rewriting it with 15 instead of x. And then we have plus 10 divided by 2 equals 20. And then we have, uh, again, do the division first. 10 divided by 2 to get 5. 15 plus... 5 equals 20, and so we end up with 20 equals 20. And so that means 15 was the solution, so I'm going to circle it here, and I can stop because, again, equations only have one solution, so I don't even need to bother with the 23 because I know it's not going to work. I only had one number that worked, and it was 15 in this case. All right, let's try one more. So we have x squared minus 9 equals 40, and we're trying to see if 5, 7, or 9 end up being the um, solution. So again, you can start with whatever you want, but we're going to start with 5 for now. You can choose to do something different when you do the practice. So I'm going to substitute 5 in for x first. So I have 5 squared minus 9 equals 40. I have to do exponents first, so I get 25 minus 9 equals 40. 25 minus 9 is 16, not 40. So nope, 5 does not work. Moving on to the next one, which is 7. So I've got 7 squared minus 9 equals 40, so I just substituted. 7 squared is 49, and 49 minus 9 is 40, so 7 was the solution. There we go. Um, so I don't even have to go on to 9. No, the answer will not always be the middle one. It just happened to be these two times. Sometimes it'll be the first one. Sometimes it'll be the last one. Sometimes there's more than three, and so it's somewhere in the middle. Who knows? Um, that's why you can try whatever you want, but um, I, I usually just like to work my way left to right so I don't miss anything. Um, but that's totally up to you as long as you're getting the correct thing.
right? If you need to go back and take a look at anything, feel free. This was a lot of information, so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, move on to the practice, and don't forget to get a teacher's signature before you move on. Um, and just a reminder, I am not here this first day of the grid, so if you are in the position where you're done and you're ready to move on, you can look at the answer key and get my signature tomorrow. But otherwise, um, if, it, if you're a little bit behind, just come get my signature. Good luck!